Hello, this is Geezer Isle. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout London. In the last episode, I made it to Westminster Palace, but the guards did not like me. Apparently the gentry don't like us commoners poking around, so they tricked me into a secret entrance that actually threw me in the slammer. But I escaped! I made it outside of Scotland Yard! Yay! Alright, so... Uh, we're now doing a quest that's going to take us to the Science Museum. So let's check that out. So we are here. Just so you know, it's the placebo effect. And it's on the other side of the map. Mind the gap. Uh, don't sound too enthused, do you? Stay safe, civilian. These are dark times. Okay. Some of this. Good to sky. Did the Tommy's finally do something, or was that, uh, that was Mount Batten? Look out of here. That is. Okay, so the Tommies do notice when it's about to go supernova. Did you get him, Arthur? You did. Cool. Well, if Arthur's going to go in there, guns blazing, I might as well take advantage of the uh, distraction. Oh, you got him. <laughs> cool. Find Mr. X. Stay away from any big red buttons. We don't want to cause another nuclear apocalypse. Approach and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed.
Critical strike. Who did he just fight? Oh, a turret. Okay. Didn't even see it. Something feels strange, and it's not my rotting innards. No use in dawdling. Time for that. Ah. Critical strike. And the terminal's going to open this door. Oh. Oh, well, that's easy. Hello, Mr. X. 
Your place is a mess. There's stuff all over the floor. Can I sleep in your bed? <gasps> Thank you. I'll get straight to it, since you've come such a long way. Under the direction of Smythe, you were abducted, hauled off to a lab and experimented on. They would have killed you afterwards. But due to unforeseen circumstances, you survived. Those very same unforeseen circumstances brought us together. With my insight and your dedication, we can take Smythe out of the picture forever. Any questions? Um... So what can you tell me about Mr. Smythe? Nothing you haven't already figured out. I only met him once, and even then he was shrouded in darkness. Behind a glass screen, he tends to be elusive, even with his most loyal underlings. So, any, you know, charisma. Ooh, I have something that boosts my charisma. Um, is your real name Mr. X? Of course not. Smythe chose it. My name isn't the only thing he took from me. Why were you imprisoned by your own operatives? It seems that Smythe figured out I'm working against him. For some reason, he's keeping me alive. To what ends, I don't know. What I do know is that my operatives no longer follow orders. They refuse to let me leave this room. My only access to the outside world is that clone. The one who sent you here. Who was the man that visited me in prison? He's a clone. A flash clone, to be precise. I don't believe he has a name. They have serial numbers. People of his kind have incredibly short lifespans. After three years, they start to deteriorate. They're also prone to errors. Most of which are noticed. And the clone is destroyed. But he has an error that has so far gone unnoticed. Free will. Most clones are obedient, biologically subordinate to their master. He has overcome this. Hmm. I want to do this charisma. Let me, can I exit out of this? Or can I just back away? Oh, I can. Oh, that worked. Uh, yeah, I was just looking at something that gives me a plus two right there. Dexy. Are you still capable of operating under the influence? If we're going to work together, you need to be honest about Mr. Smythe. Fine. Perhaps I was holding back a little. I know they've been around for a very long time. And I'm talking pre-nuclear. Smythe's longevity has something to do with the angel cloning technology. That's all I know. All right, tell me this plan of yours. The plan is that we send Smythe to Kingdom Come. He'll be attending a tournament in Westminster. He actually plans to show his face in public. Can you believe it? At first, I couldn't. But everything checks out. All available information suggests he'll be there. This is unheard of. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to end his reign of suffering. Once and for all, he'll be up in the gentry box. You won't be able to get up there, but I have a straightforward solution. It's simple. Place an explosive device beneath the box. Set a timed detonation. And watch the fireworks. Won't innocent people die in the explosion? That depends on your definition of innocent. The gentry are like children, yes. But only in the sense that they are shallow, spoiled, and pompous. They are diabolical. A servant up in that box is wealthier than all of Eastminster. Their pre-war utopia is built on the broken backs of innocent people. And without Smythe, they'd have nothing. Yet they reign, vainglorious across the wastes. So why do you want to kill Smythe? Considering the state of the world, I had a good childhood. I was happy, in awe of the little things. In the outer ruins of Eastminster, there's a statue, some sort of dog. My parents took me to see it. Something about it brought me joy. Pure and authentic joy. When they died, I was without guidance. Without direction. That's when Smythe found me. 
At first, I was given simple, inoffensive initiatives. They became more sinister as he began to trust me. Smythe isn't a man you refuse. So, as time went on, I lost all semblance of humanity. I quite recently returned to that statue. It was nothing to me. Just a chunk of stone. What sort of work did you do for Smythe? I oversee initiatives, mostly relating to psychology. I guess that's my specialty. Can't we get rid of Smythe without the bloodshed? He's spent lifetimes corrupting this city. He'd rather make London a crater than agree to step down. No, he's a parasite and should be treated as such. We must cut off the adder's head. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we're making a choice. Very well, I'll carry out this plan of yours. Excellent. The fate of London is yours to bear, friend. From what I've heard, you're more than capable of doing this. So do it with conviction. Uh, I'll do what has to be done. Good. May the cards fall in your favor. Here's a time detonation device. Attach it to the explosives you place under the box. Ideally, Time it for when the games start. That's when you can be sure Smythe is up there. I'm leaving and I suggest you leave too. Indeed. I don't plan to stick around for the aftermath. All right, feels like a good place to stop. Um, so we blasted our way through the Science Museum to get to Mr. X. Turns out Mr. X wants to get rid of Mr. Smythe. So we'll pick it up here in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Geezer Al signing off. Bye.